Hey, welcome back. Uh, I want to share with you one uh, of my favorite techniques that I use all the time in my coaching practice to help people change their negative internal dialogue. I know that if you're like me, uh, you have a brain. And one of the mechanisms of the mind is to think habitually. So many of our limitations are just negative thinking habits. So today we're going to talk about negative thinking habits in the form of negative internal dialogue. So if you're watching this right now and you want to participate, go ahead and identify one area in your life where you have negative internal dialogue. Maybe uh, it's about prospecting to set appointments. Maybe you need to be picking up the phone more. Uh, maybe uh, you have stress or anxiety in your life. Or maybe there's self-doubt or there's an area where the way you talk to yourself internally is causing you to lack confidence. Whatever that area is, I want you to pick one area in which you speak to yourself in a way that bothers you. And we're going to change that in five steps right now. Okay, so step one, identify the negative internal dialogue. So if you're watching this live or if you're watching it on the replay, I want you to stop now and think of a time when your negative internal dialogue bothers you. And I just want you to, as you do that now, I want you to go back and I want you to notice how do you speak to yourself when your negative internal dialogue is bothering you? What are the types of things that you say to yourself? And more importantly than what it is that you say to yourself, how are you saying it? So I want you to identify first, what are you saying to yourself? And second, how are you saying it? So when I say how do you say it to yourself, are you speaking to yourself in an anxious, nervous voice. Uh, I remember working with one client who had a voice that screamed at them. What is the volume of your negative internal self-talk? Uh, what direction is it coming from? How fast is it moving? And once you've identified not only what is it saying, but how is it saying it to you, then it's time to move on to the next step. So the third step, uh, actually, sorry, the second step is to identify the positive intention. So <clears throat> many people try to change their internal self-talk by uh, affirmation, where they repeat and loop the new thought pattern over and over and over again. And while actually that can be very effective for a lot of people, I found that when you can identify what the positive intention of the negative thinking is, whether that's self-doubt or self-criticism, or whether it's a thinking that's making you anxious, whatever that is, if you can identify what the positive intention is, then it's much easier to change it in one setting. You can actually transform that negative self-talk in as little as one session. So how do you do it? How do you uh, identify the positive intention? So I want you to imagine that you could communicate with the part of yourself that is responsible for this negative self-talk. And all I want you to do, first of all, is I want you to thank it. And say thank you, because I know that you're trying to do something for me. And just ask, what is it that you're trying to do for me? And just notice what you get back. Uh, oftentimes, if you have anxiety or stress or worry, that negative self-talk is trying to make you feel safe. If it's self-doubt, uh, the positive intention might be for you to do a good job. Like if you have an internal critic who's always telling you that you're not good enough, it might be wanting you to be as effective as you can be. And I want you to keep going deeper with that until you identify what is the positive intention of that negative internal dialogue. And then once you've found it, then what I want you to do is I want you to ask permission. So go inside and ask, would it be okay if we found a new way to meet that value of safety, to meet that value of doing a good job? 
and notice if you have any resistance to that. And if you don't, then you can move on to the next step. So once you've identified the positive intention, you've noticed how you speak to yourself in a way you don't like to, then it's time to change the structure. So first I actually, I don't want you to change what you say to yourself. I want you to change how you say it to yourself. So if you have uh, a negative internal dialogue that says you're going to screw it up, for example, I want you to change the structure literally by first changing the tempo of it. So maybe you could slow it down. So if you did slow it down, it might sound something like, you're going to screw it up. And you'll notice that as you start to change the structure, you cannot feel bad the way you used to. So you could change the speed of it. You could even speed it up, make it talk much faster. You gotta screw it up, right? Or I want you to take the voice and I want you to move it. So push it further off into the distance and notice if you listen to that same internal dialogue and have it farther away from you, notice whether or not you can still feel bad. You might try putting it on a different side. If you hear the voice on the left, maybe try moving it to the right. Here's one that's really effective. Change the tonality of the voice. So if it's speaking to you in a certain voice, maybe make it sound curious. You're gonna screw it up? Hmm. Or make it sound, you could make it sound like Mickey Mouse. Oh boy, you're gonna screw it up, ha ha! The, the point of this exercise is to actually say the same negative internal dialogue, but to do it in a way that doesn't make you feel bad. And when you can do this, you actually end up uh, getting all of the positive intention because that voice doesn't want you to screw it up. So if you can hear that criticism in a way that doesn't affect you, now you're ready to move on to the next step, which is add a resource. So once you've changed the structure of that other voice, now you can begin to add a resource to it. So let's say we took that voice that says, I'm gonna screw it up. And let's say I pushed it off into the distance and now I can hear that voice, but it doesn't bother me. Now I want you to add in a voice, maybe a voice behind you, a confident voice that says, you've got this, you can do this. So now you have both. So put yourself in that situation You've put that negative internal dialogue off into the distance. You can hear it, but it doesn't bother you. And then hear the positive internal dialogue that is going to get you into action. And one way that you can do this is you can ask yourself, how do I speak to myself when I'm at my best? When I'm absolutely in the zone, what is my internal dialogue like? For me, it's, I, I say things like, this is gonna be awesome. Bring it on, right? And I hear that on the left. So what I might do is I might repeat that over and over again and continue to hear what used to be negative internal dialogue but now is really just information. So once you have your resource, you'll know because you feel differently. You'll know because you feel significantly different than when you started. And you have to keep going until you get a strong positive response in your body. Now, once you have that, once you have that positive response, you practice it. So now, I want you to take that negative internal critic, now that we've changed it in such a way where it doesn't bother you anymore, and you've added that strong internal resource where you're speaking into existence the outcomes that you want. This is going to be awesome. People are going to use this technique, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you're just gonna repeat those positive internal dialogues, and it's okay to have that old dialogue there, and I want you to put yourself in the situation that used to bother you. So you're gonna hear this new internal dialogue in that old situation and notice how you feel differently. And notice how much more freedom of choice you have with this new feeling, with this new internal dialogue to behave differently. And I want you to rehearse that over and over and over again. The unconscious mind loves repetition. So one way to install this is to do this again and again and again. Now, once you've done that, 
you'll know you've done it correctly because as soon as you think about that situation, you'll instantly feel good. So you'll know you've done this correctly when the moment you think about the situation that used to bother you, you will start to feel good. And that's how you know it's time to move on to the next um, context. So you've done that in one context, now we wanna generalize it out. So I want you to take that new pattern of thinking, that new internal dialogue, and I want you to take it into every situation where it used to bother you and practice it again and again and again until you automatically find yourself speaking to yourself in the way that you want to and you feel good. And you'll know you've done it correctly when as soon as you think about what used to bother you, now you feel better. So I hope this was helpful. This technique works if you practice it. So go ahead, get after it and apply it.